The Heart of the Matrix. April 22, 2016. Dear Ones, I am Ilya M. Elohim of Arcturus. I am with you today to remind you that separation is now obsolete. Hence, you are in union with all the multi-dimensional levels of yourself. For this reason, it will take only a few moments of meditation for you to feel my essence, as well as the essence of the Arcturian group mind within your soul, your consciousness, your aura, your physical body, and within the physical body of Gaia. All is one. Therefore, it is time for you to train your desire body for its new purpose. Desire's old purpose was to assist you in achieving what, where, and who you wanted. Please tell desire that it has been reassigned. Desire's purpose now is to remember I am everything, everywhere, and everyone, for I am the heart and seed of the crystal matrix. The Crystal Matrices The heart of the crystal matrix is in our heart chakra, one half octave in frequency above our physical heart. It is the kernel of the threefold flame upon which the power of our life force burns. The seed of the crystal matrix is in our crown chakra, one half octave above our pineal gland in our physical brain. The seed of the crystal matrix is the entry point of the higher dimension into our physical earth vessel, whereas the heart of the crystal matrix is where we integrate the higher vibrations into our transforming physical body. The crystal matrices are the main processing center for the experience to which you are choosing to calibrate. Dearest ones, I say calibrate, as there are myriad experiences occurring all the time and everywhere. All of these experiences are occurring in the flow of the now. When you are only resonating to the third dimension, this calibration is unconsciousness, and many of your experiences are chosen by the core beliefs that were activated in early youth or past lives. You had to work hard to release these limitations and replace them with less limiting limitations. Now there are no limitations, as you are no longer separate from all that is. You are presently grounding your soul self into your third dimensional earth vessel so that you can merge your fourth and fifth dimensional selves with your third dimensional body, as well as the physical body of planet earth. During this merging, your senses are being recalibrated to the perceptual channels of the fifth dimension and beyond. This recalibration will greatly assist you in your transformation from physical body into light body. When your fifth dimensional soul self first enters your physical form, it is common to experience a great sense of overwhelm, as your ego is not accustomed to such expanded perceptions. This sense of overwhelm can create fear, which, in turn, can make it difficult to stay connected to and live from the soul self you are downloading. It is important to remember to surrender this fear to your soul, as that which is difficult for your ego, your soul can easily manage in peace and calm. Surrendering Fear Fear to third dimensional perception is a monster of tremendous power. On the other hand, from the perception of your soul, fear is an annoying fly that must be brushed away. Do not deny your fear or try to ignore it, or that one fly can multiply. Brush away each moment of fear with your hand of soul. Fear is not your reality, but it may even be a warning. In that case, you can acknowledge with a grateful nod, and then release the feeling of fear from your attention before it takes root in your desire body. Once fear is activated as your protector, it serves to warn you to be wary of certain situations. However, as you have learned, fear can become a habit and infiltrate your every desire and manifestation. Because your fifth dimensional soul self, who resonates beyond the illusions of need and danger, now protects you, your desire body is no longer in need of fear for protection. The Mission Once free of the need for protection from fear, your desire body can direct all its intention in one direction, the fulfillment of your mission. Your personal mission is the reason for which you took embodiment in this time-space reality. There are so many of you on Earth now who have awaited this day, and you've even created petitions to show how your birth could best serve Gaia. The service that you promised in your petition is your mission, the mission that you chose before your embodiment. However, this is not a new mission, as you have been working towards it, life after life, since you first logged on to the 3D game. 
In the last turn of the galactic completion, during the fall of Atlantis, Gaia had too much darkness on her form, and nearly self-destructed. Most of you were there, then, to assist. During this galactic completion, Gaia has called in her loyal humans who have served her for many lifetimes. Your mission now is likely similar to the mission that you had then. Just as you logged on to the 3D game as a human, Gaia logged on to the 3D game as a planet. Through your process of playing this game with her, you, too, have become a planet. Via the rules of this game, once you were born, most of you forgot your personal puzzle piece of the great puzzle of planetary ascension. However, you are now beginning to remember. Many of you are also becoming aware that this will be your last assignment in a physical form. Once this materialization is completed, your physical body will complete its transformation into light body. Most of you have volunteered to culminate this final transformation in conjunction with Gaia, as a catalyst for planetary ascension. The Seed of Light Body Your light bodies have been slowly and safely developing within the encasement of your physical shell. The casing of this shell, which is ruled by your ego self and is perceived as your physical body, grows thinner and thinner as the seed of your light body germinates and grows within the heart of the crystal matrix. As this seed sprouts within your crystal matrix, it sends shoots into every cell and atom of your physical body, where the germination begins again. When each offshoot sprouts in each cell and atom, your junk DNA is activated and your physical earth vessel displays symptoms of transformation. Your scientists have not found the purpose of this particular DNA because it is beyond the limitations of their beliefs. Hence, the term, junk DNA. The scientists cannot perceive what they cannot believe is possible. That is why, dear transforming ones, you must release the concept of impossible from your consciousness. Impossible is a third dimensional concept, and one that is now obsolete. All is possible from the insight of your soul self. While your soul self traverses its home vibration of the fifth dimension, it is aware of, and interlaced with, many different experiences, realities, and lifetimes that are all occurring within the same moment of the ever-present now. Your soul self is now implanting itself within one of its many experiences, realities, and lifetimes, you. Consequently, you and your fifth dimensional soul self are entering into a joint venture. You are not yet accustomed to the expansiveness of soul's reality, while soul is not yet accustomed to the limitations of your reality. Nonetheless, the team of human ego self and spiritual soul self are beginning a partnership of spirit into matter. The Partnership Long ago, when you first entered the 3D game, you wanted to learn how you would fare, being separated from the all that is. You wondered how it would feel to be matter without a conscious connection to spirit. Within the myriad games slash lifetimes that you have played slash lived, you have learned much about the separation of polarities. Primarily, you have learned that one spirit and matter are separated, masculine feminine, light dark, good bad, and love fear, are also separated. What have you learned in your polarity games? Take a long moment of the now to answer that question. Ask your soul self for assistance, and please, ask us, the Arcturians, as well. In the now of your time, it is important to answer the question, what did you learn? For within the answer hides your mission. When you find that answer, calibrate your desire body to live that mission. There is only one outcome of living your mission. And when it is completed, as a person, a family, a community, a state, a nation, a continent, a hemisphere, and, a planet, the partnership of you and Gaia will ascend. Channeled by Suzanne Lee Dear students, readers, and friends, I woke up this morning with a message that to honor Gaia on her Earth Day, I was to give away my book, What Did You Learn? I wrote this book, including the above introduction, over 15 years ago. It has been waiting in my computer long enough. This book is about being conscious creators of our reality. Today, Earth Day, is a perfect day to remind us all that we are the creators of our reality. 
Creating our reality is a great responsibility for us all, because, not only do we personally create our own reality collectively, we create Earth's reality. What have we learned in our many incarnations on planet Earth? In fact, what did you learn? Suzanne, Lee, PhD, blogspot, com.